Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mitch. You know the number keypad on the side of your uh, keyboard? Well, I'm going to show you how to have those turned on automatically when you log into your system. So, let's get to it. So, I'm going to open up uh, Vert Manager. So, this is my virtual machine, Vert Manager, and I'm going to open up Linux Mint 21.3. And I'm just logging into it. So I'm logged into Linux Mint 21.3. And of course, it's a virtual machine. Now, Linux Mint, I would think it's probably the easiest distribution for you if you want to have your number locks turned on automatically when you log into the system. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing you want to do, well, before we do that, let's do this. Let's open up settings. So we're going to go into settings because I want to show you something. Let's make it full screen. And let's scan down to the bottom of the settings menu. And we're going to click on login menu right here. So let's click it on. And I'm going to put my password in. And now what we're going to do is uh, let's just move this a bit over. So you see we have uh, appearance users and settings so we're going to go into settings and where we are is we're in the login window or the login menu and we're going to click on settings now activate numlock but see this this toggle switch is a dead switch so what's it telling you please install numlock x to use this option so what i'm going to do is open up a terminal i'm going to make it full screen and of course, you don't have to do this in the terminal. You can go to the software manager, the GUI or the graphical software manager and download this. But I like to do it in the terminal. I think it's faster. So I'm going to type in sudo apt. And you know what? Can I make that a little larger? Oh, this is GNOME terminal. Let's do this. Let's go into preferences. Let's go into custom font. Let's kick it up to 15 and let's close it. Ah, that's better. So I'm going to do a sudo apt install num lock x. So notice there's no B in there, you know, B for Bob. There's, it's not num number locks. It's num lock x. Okay. I'm going to hit enter. It's asking for my password. I'm going to put my password in and just so you know this, that no matter what distribution you use, if you want NumLocks to start up when you log in, you have to install this app or this, this file. Okay, so it's installed. So let's close the screen and let's just close that and let's go back into it. Let's click on login window, click on settings. And now this switch is activated. See that? We turned on the switch. And let's close that and let's close that and let's reboot. So I'm just going to open up a terminal. I'm going to type in reboot. And that's all you have to do for uh, Linux Mint. It's so easy. So now we're at the login screen of Linux Mint. Type in some numbers and there you are. My number lock is working. Okay. Now, I don't have a password. Well, I don't have numbers in my password. So we're just going to log back in. And that's how you do it in Linux Mint. Easy peasy. Okay. So now I'm in a uh, virtual machine of Arch Linux. And if we just open up a terminal and do a Neo fetch. You can see I'm in Arch Linux and I logged in with through the TTY. I didn't use a display manager or a login manager. And even then you still have to download that program if you want it to work. Right? So you do sudo pacman numlock x. And I did that wrong, right? And you'd hit enter, put your password in, 
and I already have it installed. Now it's going to reinstall it, but I'm going to just say no because I don't want to reinstall it. So you want to download that package. And if you're logging in in the TTY, there'd be two ways you can do it. One way you could do it is through Xenet RC. So if you type in Xenet, well, let's do Vim Xenet RC. And you could activate this line or type this line. You have to make the file yourself. And if you have that line in your Xenet RC, when you're logging into a desktop environment or a window manager, it's going to activate NumLock. Now, if you do it this way, it's going to activate NumLock, your number locks, regardless of where they, what you log into, whether you're logging into a desktop environment or a window manager. And if you have several window managers or desktop environments installed on your system, regardless of whatever one you log into, it's going to turn on your number lock. Now I have it deactivated. And the reason why is that in my configuration file for awesome window manager in Qtile, I have it turned on in there. So I'm going to close this. Let's cd into dot config awesome. Let's ls it. Let's vim into rc lua. So now I'm in my uh, awesome window manager configuration file. And I'm going to go to the bottom and I have it here. In line 743 in my awesome configuration file, it's telling it to turn on numlock. Okay. And for Qtile, oops, CD. Oh, and for Qtile, I went too far. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's uh, vim into Xenet RC and let's log into Qtile. Okay, and let's do a start X. And now we're in Qtile. And I'm going to open up a terminal. And what I'm going to do is cd into dot config slash Qtile. I'm going to ls it. And I have an auto start file here. See right here, auto start. So we're going to log into that. Vim auto. So in my Qtile auto start, I have numlock x turned on. So you have to download that file and turn this on. Okay, so let's get out of there. Let's cd out of there. So let's go into Vim Xenet RC. And if we move up here, so like I said, if you're logging in through the TTY, you can just activate this line here or type it in. Okay, numlock X. And that's going to turn on your number locks no matter what window manager or desktop environment you're logging into. But like I said, I keep it off or deactivate it because I have numlock uh, turning on in my configuration files for my window managers. Okay. Now say you're using a uh, light DM login manager. Let's open up a terminal and let's go into Etsy. Let's ls it and see this light DM folder. So we're going to CD into it, CD into light DM. Let's ls it. And we're going to go into this one, lightdm.conf. Okay. So let's vim. And you have to use sudo if you want to change this file, but let's, I'm not going to use sudo. Let's just go into vim, lightdm, because I'm not going to make any changes to the file. Lightdm.conf. And are we at the top? Yes, we are. So we're going to scan down. So remember, you have to download that app called numlock x and then you go into light dm configuration file and this line here line 1112 you gotta type that in this line here line 111 that was already there i didn't put it in but line 1112 you have to put that in and if you put that in when you turn when you use light dm to log in it's going to automatically turn on your number lock so let's check it out 
let's see the editor there. Let's do sudo system control enable light DM. Put my password in. And light DM is now enabled. So now let's reboot. And it's just going to take a second to reboot. And here we are. We're at light DM. And let's just click on the hamburger menu. And I guess I could go back into Qtile. I always go into awesome. So let's go into Qtile. And let's put the cursor here. And let's see if my numbers are working. And they are. And of course, there's no I in this login menu, so you can't see it. But these, this is my side keypad. My numbers are working. Okay. And let's put my password in. doesn't have any numbers. And now we've logged into LightDM. So that's how you turn number locks on for LightDM. And of course, once you're in the system, the number lock stays on. Now, if you're using my configuration files, and I don't know if you did. So if you installed Arch Linux and you use my post configuration files to complete your system, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see this. You're going to see LightDMConf. You're also going to see the XNRC file. And this LightDM conf has programmed into it that command for numlock to turn on. So if you vim into it, vim, vim LightDM conf, see right here, it has line 1112 to turn on numlock. Okay. And if you vim into my uh, XNRC file, it's going to have everything in there. Okay. Now let's quit. Now, if you used all my configuration files, if you installed my apps, so let's vim into auto app. If you installed my apps, it's going to have late DM. See number 43. It's going to install late DM, late DM GTK greeter and greeter settings. And in line 53, it's installing numlock X. Okay, so you're going to have everything you need if you use my files. Now let's get out of there. Now I'm going to open up another virtual machine. Arch video. I have lots of virtual machines. Let's open up this one. Let's make it uh, full screen. This one's going to log into a display manager or login manager called Empty. Not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. There it is there. Empty. So I'm going to put my password in and my num locks are turned on, but you can't see it. And uh, I'm going to hit uh, zero and go to awesome. Okay. Let's see if my number locks are working. There you go. See my keypad is working and I'm going to hit zero and I'm going to hit enter. And now we're in the awesome window manager and what I'm going to do is with empty, if you go into Etsy, ls it, let's cd into the empty folder, cd into empty, let's ls it, and let's go into this configuration file. And empty is really easy to use. Let's um, vim conf, and it's right here. Well, let's go to the top. So if you just scan down right here. Now, I already changed this configuration file. Well, I didn't really add anything. I just enabled stuff. So this line, I think, is disabled. And I think uh, when I installed Empty, I think uh, if I remember correctly. Oh, I didn't see I didn't sudo into this. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. You have to go and you have to use sudo to go into this. I think the line looked like that. I think it was disabled. And I think at the end of it, it said false. So you just go to this line, delete the hashtag, go to the end of the line, say true and save the file. Enable numlock equals true. But of course you have to have that app numlock X installed. And if you installed my mensh folder from my GitLab repository. And if you run this file, CD into mensh, arch, let's ls it, oh, let's ll it. 
And if you run this run configs file, so let's vim run. If you run this file, what it's going to do is it's going to take my light DM file, my light DM configuration file, and put it in the place where it's supposed to be. And it's also going to take my XNRC file and put it in the place where it's supposed to be. And that's it. In this video, I talked about the number keypad on the side of your keyboard and how to make it turn on when you log into your system. And I showed several ways to do it. I showed the easiest way to do it if you're using Linux Mint. And I showed several ways to do it if you're using Arch Linux. I showed a couple ways on how to do it if you're logging in through the TTY. I showed how to set LightDM so that it does it in LightDM. And I even showed how to do it if you're using Empathy. And I showed how you could use my configuration files from my GitLab repository to set it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mensch.